Many people are interested in hearing what will happen in Akhir Zaman. What are the signs of Akhir Zaman? You gather those ahadith that start with Sayyati ala ummati zamanun, that there will come a time for my ummah. What will happen? There will remain nothing from Islam except its name. There will be no taslim, there will be no Islam, there will be no submission. Only the name of Islam will be there. There will remain nothing from the Qur'an except its calligraphy. The actions of the Muslims will show that they are the furthest away from Islam. Mosques will be built beautifully, but they will be empty of guidance. The inwards of the people will become corrupt, and their outward will, will become good, will, will become beautiful, all because of a greed for this world. They won't desire through this world what is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Land won't be gained except through forceful means. Wealth won't be gained except through usurping and stinginess. And pay attention to this. Love won't be gained in Akhir Zaman except through exiting true religion and following one's base desires. The rulers will be oppressive. The scholars will be greedy for more money in exchange for the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon them. The worshippers will be showing off their piety and the traders will be eating from interest. A person won't care what damage his religion is facing as long as he is securing more and more of this world. A time will come when hearing the name of a person will be better than meeting him. Meeting him will be better than having to deal with him. Because as soon as you deal with him, the state of affairs of the people will become evident to you. What are their state of affairs in Akhir Zaman? You will see that their religion has become money. Their main concerns are their bellies and their stomachs. Their qibla are women, meaning fulfilling their base desires. They will be doing ruku' to bread and sujood to the dirham. Scholars will only be recognized through good-looking robes. The Qur'an will only be recognized if it's in a good voice. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will only be worshipped in the month of Ramadan. Are we not seeing such a time now? Are we not heading towards such a, such a time? In such a time when materialistic attachments have dominated the human being, how does a person succeed? The Qur'an gives the protocol. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دِسَّاهَا Successful are those individuals who have purified their souls. And failures are those individuals who have allowed their souls to become corrupt. And, out, and after taking the initial steps of self-purification, how do we purify our souls? You turn your face towards that individual, towards whom the faces of all the awliya Allah are turned towards. أَيْنَ وَجْهُ اللَّهِ الَّذِي إِلَيْهِ يَتَوَجْهُ الْأَوْلِيَا Imam and Zaman. We've turned our faces away from the Imam of, if, of our time due to the love of this world, not realizing what we're losing out on. The more you love the Imam, the less you love this world. The more you love this world, the less you love the Imam.